Hello guys, how are we all doing? Welcome back to another video and today we are back with the Championship Predictions. I'm joined by George. How are you doing? I don't know you're going to ask me that. Yeah, I'm alright. How are you? Not too bad. Coventry City, what a win against Barnsley, eh? Uh, let's get into the midweek predictions. We start with Brentford playing Cardiff and uh, Cardiff, nothing else to play for anymore to be honest. Uh, could have won at Reading actually, but uh, a last minute goal from Matey saw uh, them share the spores in a 1-1 draw. Brentford drew 0-0 last time, so they're both coming into this on the back of a draw. Should I go for a draw? Mm, yes, 0-0. Nil -nil. Yeah, it's got a draw written all over it really. Like I said, neither team really got anything to play for. Brentford, they're going to make the playoffs. Cardiff, they're not. So I'm going to go with 1-1. One -one. OK, next up we go to Carroll Road where we could be looking at a potentially Premier League game next season. Well, one of the teams definitely are. Norwich are already in the Premier League now and Watford trying to join them. This is as good as a Championship game as you can get, Norwich versus Watford. Um, don't know, I feel like Watford have to play for more because obviously they haven't sealed promotion just yet and they lost last time to Luton. Mm, I'm going to go for a draw, let's say 1-1. One, one. Um, yeah, it's probably going to be a pretty tight game. I disagree, I think both of these teams are already promoted. Um, it's going to take a miracle for Swansea to take that second spot now. Um, let's go with... Let's go with Norwich to edge it 2-1. Norwich to edge it 2-1, yeah. interesting. And then that'll actually probably secure them the league, won't it, the title? Yes, yes it would actually, yeah. They're very close to wrapping up the title, Norwich. Next up we go to Deepdale where Preston North End take on Derby County. Derby really down in the mire, aren't they? And uh, they're lucky that Birmingham beat Rotherham, otherwise you know, Rotherham would have really cut the gap. It looks at the moment as if it could be a battle between Rotherham and Derby to stay up now. And um, Derby need to try and get something here away to Preston. 1-1. One, one. I'm going to back gonna back a draw here. I was going to say 1-1, one, one, um, but I like to be different, so I'll try and think of another <laughs> prediction. Um, yeah, Preston, they're already safe, I would say. Um, what are they on, like 49 now points or something? Yeah, yeah something like that. Um, Derby, they desperately need points. Um, let's go for a Derby win, even though it's pretty unlikely. Let's go for Derby to win 1-0. Derby to win 1-0. Next up to Hillsborough, where Sheffield Wednesday take on Blackburn Rovers. And uh, it was a bitter pill to swallow last time for Sheffield Wednesday as they drew 1-1 against 10-man Bristol City. Blackburn, meanwhile, beat, uh, beat Derby, which has surely pushed them uh, towards safety. What do I think of this one? I think Sheffield Wednesday have to win it. But I'm going to go for another draw for them. I'm going to go for 2-2. Yeah, Sheffield Wednesday, again, their fate has already been decided as, as far as I'm concerned. They're already down. But they may as well just go for it. It's one of them games. Uh, Blackburn, they've been very disappointing this season. They're uh, probably only going to finish a few points above the, uh, above the bottom three. Um, but on paper, Blackburn should win, so I'm going to say 2-0 win to Blackburn. 2-0 win to Blackburn. Next up we go to the Liberty. Swansea City still trying to keep that top two hopes alive, although they did draw last time to Wickham, but they did have to come from behind to get that draw, so whichever way you look at it, it still doesn't look very good. I think Swansea should have tried to win that game. Uh, they're up against QPR here, who obviously won away at Middlesbrough last time, 2-1. Hmm... I'm going to back Swansea because I want the top two race to be interesting. I'm going to say Swansea win this 1-0. Swansea to win this 2-1. Yeah? Yeah, I think uh, QPR, they know they're going to finish sort of, um, you know, mid-table. Swansea, they've got a very, very, very slim chance of making second. I think it's virtually impossible. Um, but yeah, I may as well give it a go, so yeah, Swansea to win 2-1. Okay, next up to the Den on the Wednesday night, Millwall take on AFC Bournemouth. What a win by the way, I watched AFC Bournemouth play Norwich and what a win, what a performance, three really good goals. And um, hmm, yeah, I'm going to back them, I think they'll beat Millwall here and that would surely be the playoffs wrapped up. I think they're going to be the team to look out for in the playoffs, they're in such good form. So Millwall 1, Bournemouth 2. Yeah, it's just going to say that they are in very good form and um, there's no reason why they shouldn't be able to go up because the amount of quality that they've got in their team, still keeping many of their Premier League players, uh, yeah, they should annihilate Millwall really, shouldn't they? Let's say 4-0. 4-0, wow. Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, next up to the New York Stadium where Rotherham have another home game. After three home games in the bounce, they have another one here. They have Middlesbrough at home who aren't really playing for anything. So good chance for Rotherham to get something. But those tired legs are starting to tell. They lost 1-0 to Coventry. They've lost 1-0 to Birmingham. Heavy defeats. I mean, you know, they're, they're going to really hit hard those defeats against teams like that that were down there with them. And I think they need to, they need to win this because if Derby beat Preston, I think that's it. Rotherham need to win this. Mmm, it's so hard. I don't want to sit on the fence, you know. So, Rotherham 1, Middlesbrough 2. Oh, you reckon they'll lose? Uh, I think Rotherham will win this one. I think in their previous two games against Birmingham and Coventry, they would have tried to not lose. Like they would, they would have been happy with the draws, um, but the fact that they've lost them means that they're so much further away now. And um, yeah, I'm going to go for them to beat Middlesbrough one nil. One nil. Next up, we go to the Bet Three Six Five, where Stoke City are taking on Coventry City. And coming into this a week or two ago, I, th I was thinking there's going to be a lot riding on this, but. There isn't. Coventry City is surely safe now. What a win against Barnsley and what a win against Rotherham. We still need to take this seriously. You know, this is still a tough game. And if we can get a draw, we're, you know, pushing towards being mathematically safe. And uh, Stoke, it's going to be a tough one. You know, they've been lingering around the top half. They're not going to make the playoffs now, but uh, they're a strong outfit still. Hmm. Let's be a professional fence sitter and go for a 1-1 draw. Yeah, I think uh, uh, me personally, I'd be delighted with a with a draw. Um, I think it's going to be a relatively boring game. I think it's going to end up nil nil. Nil nil. Yeah, I've seen a lot of nil nils from these two, and they did draw nil nil last time out. Yeah. Um, so next up, we go to Wickham taking on Bristol City. Now, Bristol City have already eff effectively relegated Sheffield Wednesday with last week's result. Could they basically do the same to Wickham? I think Wickham are going down anyway. I hate to say it because you know they, they've been. A decent addition to the championship, but they're not gonna they're not gonna do it now. They should have held on and beat Swansea last time, but they drew two two, and they have to win here. And it's it's all but time that they're going to be mathematically relegated. And uh, oh, Wickham one, Bristol City two. Yeah, it's it's a strange one because Bristol City at the start of the season they was looking like the team to finish you know right up the top end, but. Again, they're probably going to end up only finishing a few points above the bottom three. Um, I think Wickham might actually nick this one. I reckon they might nick it 2-1. Two, 2-1 one. Two, one to keep yeah. their thin hopes of survival alive. Who yeah. knows? Uh, next up we go to St Andrews, Birmingham City, with a massive win against Rotherham, now taking on Nottingham Forest. And I think both teams are playing Championship Football next year. You know, a few weeks ago, Birmingham and Forest were both in the fight, but Definitely. Forest pulled clear and now Birmingham have pulled clear. And Lee Bowyer, what a job he is doing. Four wins from, I think, six games? Unbelievable. Mental. Unbelievable. Um, do you know what? They're both doing fairly well and uh, both their managers are really rate them, Chris Hewton and Lee Bowyer. So I'm going to go for a draw. Let's go for 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, to be honest, it has got a draw written all over it, hasn't it? Uh, is it? Where is it? At St Andrews? or? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's go for a draw. Let's go for 1-1. One, one. 1-1. One, one. Next up then, a Yorkshire derby, Huddersfield Town, who've climbed a little bit closer to safety with that win against Forest, against Barnsley, who slipped up against Coventry and still need to try and get those points to cement the top six. But I think both teams will accomplish what they want to this season. I think Huddersfield will be safe and I'd imagine Barnsley should make the top six. So let's go for a nil-nil draw. Yeah, I think this will be a fairly uh, tight game. I think Barnsley are pretty much secured the playoffs, but they do need to do a professional job in the four remaining games. Although they do have a you know a four point gap, they need to pick up at least a win I would say. And I reckon they're gonna pick up this win here. So I'm gonna go with a three one win to Barnsley. Three one to Barnsley. And the last game on the Wednesday is at Kenilworth Road where Luton Town take on Reading and Luton Town, what a win. What a win. I mean I've been over it a few times in my stream, but what a win against Watford, what a win, 1-0, and uh, you know, the amazing thing about that was, they, they, they're they already safe, they're already in the 50s, and they're still going about, you know, picking up points and taking points off teams that are still playing for something, and Reading need to be careful here, because Reading still have that outside chance of sneaking into the top six after Barnsley were defeated on Sunday, Reading need to win, but 
I don't think they will. Hmm. 1-1, one, one, but either team could win this. You just took the words out of my mouth. Um, Reading do need to win, but I don't think they are. I don't think they are going to win. I don't think they're going to make the playoffs anyway because um, they've you know, kind of faltered in the second half of the season. But, um, yeah, I think it's going to be 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, yeah. one. That wraps up today's video then, guys. That is all of our predictions. Make sure to get your predictions down below. Leave a like, subscribe if you are new, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace out. See you, guys.